So you can come into a comfortable cross leg position. <sighs> and either close your eyes or take a soft gaze towards the floor in front of you. And begin to slow down. Give yourself the time it takes to arrive here. Just feeling your body, feeling your seat, feeling your breath. Anytime you notice that you've checked out or you're thinking about something else or overthinking something, just as soon as you notice, come back to something simple like feeling that you are breathing, that you are right here. You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus, and feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you. Bring your right arm up and over. You can lean onto your left hand or elbow. Stretch out through your fingers, big yawning reach. And then circle your right arm back behind you as far back as you can. Finish up the circle you're on, coming back to your side stretch. We'll curve around through center, come all the way over and open up into a side bend on the left. Begin to circle your left arm as far back as you can. Finish up the circle you're on, coming back to your side stretch. Curve around through center, reaching a little further out, all the way around to the first side, one big circle. Again, curve around through center, a little further out, all the way around, one big circle. And then curve to center and fold over your legs, resting into the support underneath you, whatever that is. Hands, elbows, all the way to the floor. And then walk your way back up, take your time, bring your hands to the floor behind you, fingers facing forward. Roll your shoulders back, your elbows back, and then lift your chest, take the chest as high as you can. And then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin. Roll your way back up. Let's recross the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. Sitting tall, drop your right ear over to right shoulder, press down through the left shoulder, stretching left side of your neck. Rotate your chin to your chest and come over to the other side. Both shoulders drop, but now even more through 
your right side, looking for a stretch there. Rotate chin to chest. Come back to the first side and then go back and forth. Half circles or three-quarter circles. Watching as the sensation moves from one side to the other. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there. Interlace fingers behind your head. And let your elbows hang down, stretching the back of your neck. Release the arms, head floats back up. Again, hands behind you, shoulders back, elbows back. Lift the chest. And then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Roll your way up, still holding the knees. Pull the chest through, upper back arch, keeping the back of the neck long. And then round back, bring your feet to the floor, bring hands behind the legs, put a little pressure up on the backs of the legs to round even more. Roll up from the base of the spine to arch back, but also lean back, so abdominals are working. And we'll go back and forth between these two positions. Exhale, round. Inhale, roll up and arch. <clears throat> Exhale, back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Back. And up. Now round back, release your arms and come down a little lower. Inhale, same arch, but arms come by the ears. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Up. Back. Let's do one more and we'll hold this last one. Come up and experiment. Can you lift a little more? Could you lean back a little more? As you're in this challenging position, can you relax your shoulders, relax your face? And then release, round back, holding here. Isolating the tension where it's useful, softening what's not needed. And then release. Let's come all the way up and forward. Hands and knees, tabletop. <clears throat> if you want to pad your knees and you have something, you might put a blanket or cushion under there. Fingers spread, hands flat and active. Let's take a couple rolls through the spine, starting by lifting the head and tail, arching. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now, inhale, arch, and send the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift your weight forward, bend your elbows straight back and dip part way or all the way to the floor. Press up from there, knee in. Extend. Dip down, if going all the way down is too much, just go where it feels right. Couple of inches, maybe plenty, push up from there, knee in. Extend. 
Go forward to dip down. Press up. Knee in. Extend and roll your hip open, reaching toes to the side wall. You can stay here on two hands or take your left hand back, so opposite hand catches your foot. Kick your foot into your hand. So this is a little bit of a balancing pose, steady gaze to help you. How much can you lift up away from the supporting hand? And then gently release, arm forward, leg back, square off, shoulders and hips, lift through the belly. And then release, hands and knees, sink back to child's pose, releasing hips to the heels. Maybe give that right wrist a little rub or circle. <sighs> Hmm. Let's make our way back up to table. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, lift the head and tail. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now inhale, arch, and send the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift your weight forward, dip part way or all the way to the floor and press up from there. Knee in. Extend. Go forward to dip down. Press up. Knee in. Extend. One more time, dip down. <coughs> Press up, knee in, extend and roll your hip open. You can stay here on two hands or right hand reaches back, catch your foot, kick your foot into your hand. Gently release, arm forward, leg back, square off hips and shoulders, draw the belly in, lengthen your spine. And release, hands and knees. <sighs> Sink back to child's pose. Maybe give that left wrist a little rub or circle. From child's pose with your arms out in front of you. Walk your hands over to the left. And then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. And back to center. Come up to our first downward facing dog. So you can really spread your fingers, get the hands flat and active. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. 
And you might pedal out your feet a little bit. Taking any movement that helps you get in your body. There's no right or wrong way to explore. You're learning through trial and error. And then walk your hands and feet towards one another. And let's hang and ragdoll. Feet hip width apart. Parallel. Let your head hang, let your neck release. Feel free to use support through your arms. Feel free to take any movement here. Let's bend the knees a little bit more and slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. <sighs> Can come up to the front of the mat, mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet can be together or apart. Bring hands together at the heart. Let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, part way up. Step or hop your feet back. Coming through, high push up, lower down, chaturanga. Come into your back bend. Cobra or up dog as low or high as feels right for you. Could be a little baby cobra, could be coming up higher. Back to down dog. And then let's take five deep breaths in down dog or child's pose or sitting or any other neutral shape. Reestablishing focus, letting go of everything that's not needed right now. One more deep breath in and out. Let's come back through down dog. And step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back. Lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. This time from down dog, let's take the right leg up. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee. And 
next time your leg is up, reach it straight, send it a little higher, circle your ankle a couple times, pulling the hips up and away from the hands. Take your leg a little higher again and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Send it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Let's grab the left wrist and take it across for a side bend. Come over to the other side. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the heart. Hips low, chest high. Release arms up. Tip forward, standing splits. Hands to the floor or to blocks. How much can you let go inside of this powerful pose, feeling all the effort that's necessary? And can there also be ease? <sighs> Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one. more breath here. Release. Make your way to down dog, feeling each moment of your transition, being purposeful with whatever you're doing. From down dog, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in, making the biggest circle possible for you. Exploring the parts that are tight, weak, uncomfortable, uncertain. With love and curiosity. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, big circles both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. All right, towards the center of your chest. Reach it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Grab your right wrist, take it over, side bend. Same thing, other side, grab your left wrist. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back, other thumb on top this time. Release, arms up, tip forward, standing splits. Hundred percent effort. 100% surrender. <sighs> mm. 
big step back. Warrior one. Make your way to a good rest. Feeling your transition, each moment, each movement. And then settle into some neutral shape where you can access a feeling of ease. Letting go of everything we've just done, everything we might do. Last deep breath in and out. Let's come back through down dog. And step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's bend the knees and come into chair. Can you sink your hips back and down like you're gonna sit into a chair? And then lift your head as high up as it'll go. Drop the shoulders down as the fingers reach high. Last breath. Release, fold forward. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Mm. From down dog, when you're ready, right leg sweeps up, just one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Shift forward and find your balance, customizing the outer shape so it suits your needs. So you're welcome to keep your torso high and your leg low. You can choose any arm position. Supporting leg could be bent or straight. One more breath here. Step back, warrior one, flowing through some transition to get back to down dog. From down dog, left leg sweeps up. Big step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. How much can you feel what you're doing here? Step back, warrior one. Release through your movement transition. Back to a good rest. Letting go.
One more breath here. Let's come back through down dog. And step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale, chair. Exhale, straighten. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. From here, rise up to standing. Bring your left knee to your chest. Take your time getting steady. Right arm can be out to the side or at the hip. You can stay holding your knee, or you could grab your big toe with the first two finger and thumb. Lengthening. Let's open the left leg out to the left, whether you're holding the knee or your toe, whether the leg is bent, straight, or partly straight. Bring your leg back to the front. Let's get set up for a twist. Opposite hand to the outside of the knee or the outside of the foot. Roll open through the left shoulder. Maybe extend left arm back. And then release with the front hand, catch with the back hand, King Dancer, Natra Jasana. And each pose is a series of directions. You're going in the direction of what you know to do, honoring your limits right where they are right now. And however that ends up is exactly the way it should be. Shouldn't look or feel or be any different than this. Big step back. High lunge, slow things down. And then find your way to down dog, however you want to get there. Just taking each thing at the time you're doing it. You don't have to do it all at once. Feeling this wherever you are. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Feeling that. Big step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Rise up to standing. Bring your knee to your chest. Standing tall. Opposite hand can be out or at your hip. If you did so on the other side, you might try grabbing the big toe with the first two finger and thumb. Open your leg out to the right. And each time you catch your mind saying something that's not true, like this should be easier, your balance should be better, you shouldn't be falling, whatever is going on is a chance for you to commit to something higher, something more true. <laughs> like this is how it is. It's like this. And bring your leg back to the front, opposite hand to the outside of the knee or the outside of the foot. 
as you do your best given what you understand and are able to do, it's going to be a variety of ways, some of which are comfortable, some of which are uncomfortable. Right now it's like this, whatever this is, that's true. Release with the front hand, catch with the back hand, King Dancer. Rather than mistakenly thinking you could always be comfortable, always look good, always get what you want, perhaps we can take whatever is happening now as an opportunity to expand and be with this, whatever this is. Big step back. Mm, high lunge. Mm, release. Make your way to a good rest. Some neutral shape, letting go of everything we've just done, everything we might do. Let's make our way to hands and knees, tabletop. If you do want to pad your knees, you're welcome to put something under there. We'll set up for a twist, thread the needle. So from neutral, hands and knees, lift the left arm up as high as you can. Curl from fingertips down, thread it through, and keep going until you come all the way onto your shoulder inside of your head. You can push the right hand into the floor or into the bottom forearm, or take the right arm up or back. Lots of variations. If the first thing you come into isn't immediately interesting or useful, experiment. Gently release. Unwind. few rolls through the spine. Back to neutral. Right arm comes up. Curl from fingertips down, thread it through, keep going, come onto your shoulder inside of your head. Push the left hand into the floor or into the bottom forearm. Unwind, release, come back to neutral. Maybe a little bit of movement here, arching, curving, front to back, side to side. And let's come back to down dog and we'll set up for dying warrior. So taking this twist just a bit deeper, we're gonna thread the right leg out to the left. And keep going until you lower all the way down onto the outer hip. Try and have your right leg parallel to the front of your mat. The back toes can be tucked under to help you roll that top hip down, or if it's uncomfortable, you, you don't have to tuck them. Let's try and square the chest towards the front. Deep twist here. You can stay on your hands. You can come to your forearms. You could add the arms from the last pose for something really deep. Only do it if you want to. Left arm can thread out to the right, coming onto your shoulder and maybe side of your head. Very deep twist. If 
feel the tightness of being here and can you still get a full breath in? Gently release, notice what you feel as you come out of it. Maybe a flush of blood, heat, energy through the shoulders as you come back to down dog, maybe through the hips. Oh. Same thing other side, left leg threads out to the right, come all the way onto the outer hip. Maybe keep the back toes tucked under, try and roll that right hip down. And stay on your hands. You can come to your elbows. You can take your right arm out to the left. And you find spaciousness even in this constricted, tight twist. Let's release, unwind. Make your way back to down dog. Feel, take any movement. Eventually making your way to sitting. And all the way onto our backs. You can bring your knees in. Just take a little circle with your knees, massaging the lower back and sacrum to into the floor. And I will keep suggesting things, but as we are getting towards the end of class, this is particularly a good time to do exactly what you want to do. So you're welcome to do what I'm suggesting or your own ending. So I'll suggest a back bend next. You can drop your feet to the floor for bridge, press your feet down, lift your hips up. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back, shrugging your shoulders underneath you. Spreading the upper back and lower back away from one another. Stay as long or short as you like. When the pose feels complete, come down and rest. Rest until you feel like coming up again. If you feel like coming up again, you could take any back bend, bridge, what we just did, half wheel, full wheel, supported bridge. Any variation you know or want to try. When you are done with your back bends, move on to a counter stretch, happy baby or a forward fold or anything that helps you release your back. Feeling where you are, what you're doing now. If you'd like to join me for a hip stretch, you can drop your feet to the floor. 
across your right ankle above the left knee. Reach your hands through, grab the left leg, hug it in close. <sighs> Stretching the right outer hip. Release, let's drop the left foot to the floor, straighten the right leg up, flex and point, circle, and switch sides, both feet to the floor, cross the left ankle above the right knee, reach your hands through, grab the right leg, hug it and close. <sighs> what is there to release here? Drop the right foot to the floor, straighten the left leg up, flex and point. Circle your ankle and then check in with your body. What else is needed? Any last pose, any last stretch, any movement, any touch. You can make your way to your final rest as you're ready. Eventually settling into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Letting go of the control of your breath. Letting go of all the doing. Slowly 
Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. And then take a big stretch out. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me today.